Welcome to the Go-Kart Racing Track, another great community event brought to you by the 374th Force Support Squadron. Before we get out on the course, this video is going to run through the basics of go-kart racing safety to ensure that everyone has fun and goes home in one piece. The first thing we will cover is the basic operation of the go-kart. The accelerator or gas pedal is located under your right foot. The brake pedal is located under your left foot and the big round thing in the middle, well, that's the steering wheel. Proper operating position looks like this. Please notice that the driver's heels are firmly planted on the floor pan. Operate the pedals by flexing your ankle, not by lifting your foot up and down as that could obstruct the operation of the steering wheel or possibly allow your foot to bounce out of the chassis and become injured. Please keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times while driving. When operating the cart, do not depress the accelerator and brake at the same time as this can cause damage to the cart and also cause accidents. Next, we are going to cover the basics of road racing. In an environment such as our cart track, there are multiple cars on the track at the same time being operated by different people of various skill levels. You need to take that into account while you're driving. The golden rule in situations such as this is, the slower vehicle always yields the track to the faster vehicle. If you are approaching a corner on the outside line, check over your shoulder to ensure that there is not a faster vehicle approaching on the inside line. If a faster vehicle is closing in, Reduce speed and maintain an outside line through the corner. On the other hand, if you are on the inside line and a faster vehicle is approaching from the outside line, you should reduce speed to allow the faster vehicle to take over the primary line through the corner, then follow after it. Faster vehicles must use caution when passing around the pit lane exit, and particularly in high speed corners to ensure that they don't understeer into the slower moving vehicles. When you see a crashed, spun, or stalled vehicle, slow down until you have passed the area where the affected vehicle is located. When entering the pit area, you must slow down to idle speeds. Complete your deceleration on the far left of the track before you enter the pit lane. Any person seen bumping, weaving, or blocking will be required to exit the track immediately and will not be permitted to drive for the remainder of the event. Next on the agenda, Flags. Course marshals will be standing at key areas of the track waving flags to issue warnings of track conditions and infractions. The yellow flag indicates a caution condition on the track. When the course marshal is waving the yellow flag, reduce speed and proceed with caution. The red flag indicates that it is unsafe to continue racing. When the course marshal waves a red flag, all drivers should stop their carts immediately and await further instruction from the course marshal. The black flag indicates disqualification. It is waved when an action by a driver creates an unsafe environment for the rest of the drivers on the track. The course marshal will indicate by pointing at the offending vehicle, at which point that vehicle needs to slow down and proceed to the pit immediately. The checkered flag means the race is completed. When you see this flag, proceed to the pit lane. That's all we have for today's briefing. Thank you for your attention. Now go out there and have fun, but be safe.